everybody in the international world also in india also uh, films are done on iphone but do we all who have an iphone are filmmaker no so chat gpt is is right now it's a craze i understand but people should know how to use it 90% of people will not know so so i so i need to learn to you know upgrade most of my friends colleagues most of them and they are actually outdated and irrelevant so that's the reason i try to rejuvenate i behave like a student i read all the time and i always challenge myself so this is what i love this is what kicks me when you started with the presentation we uh, i personally thought okay presentation let's look at it what it's going to be but the presentation it actually hooked me up throughout everything the t shape the v shape your chat gpt triangle i also kept a script i also took a picture of that uh, chat gpt triangle where the 100% 100 crore companies would be there 25% the the presentation was absolutely amazing and whatever you were saying was uh, i have also taken a note of a few things uh, i was actually writing it here uh, writing it down in my uh, oh. chat was if you, if you can see me. yeah, yeah. Uh, so there are 70 uh, 70% people with old mba degrees will be uh, outdated so yes i personally before opening the floor to the audience for the question i as a marketing enthusiast i have a question sir which i would like please. to take the opportunity and shoot off so g we are down half a year into our mbas and chat gpt came very recently uh, two months back we are done with our internships right now and we'll be going to uh, internships in the field of digital marketing seo uh, sales and all so chat gpt with the uh, what what should i say with chat gpt coming into picture how should we make the most of our internships so that we can be future ready in one year's time when we are looking for jobs in the future very difficult because uh... chat gpt imagine if you join you are going to leave this campus in next one year right one year a few months one year a few months just tell me so we are uh, into our first year we will be completing our first year we are into so, our internships most of us has got the internships and after that chat gpt came into picture so what will happen imagine you are in the campus or doing whatever you know you are learning for next one year you are inside the campus so whatever internship you are doing or whoever is doing wherever is doing uh, most of your intern uh, companies were you are hiding internship uh, for you uh, for most of the mbas across uh, india they are still they also learn something new so the person who is driving this knowledge session or so they don't have a practical experience so by the way any of you know how chat gpt actually work you only type a question it gives you answer that's what you know most of you no that's not the way to use chat gpt i thought you know so i didn't kept i, I kept quiet on it something called prompt prompt is something which i want all of you to go to uh, github have you heard of this name git github yes, sir. if you go if you go to github and you will find a list of prompts with the list of prompts you will able to understand what you should tell the intelligence uh, software to give you an answer so if you say uh, write me a novel uh, or write me a uh, write me a marketing theory about a toothpaste it will give you a very general it's not going to be good but if you say the, if i want you to work as a dental expert give me a a, a case study or a you know write up or article on how to take care of teeth these are the five uh, you know keywords you should put in and it should summarize into someone who will learn and benefit of it or even how to brush your teeth step by step to take care of the teeth if you give this entire prompt you will have a very different answer so all of you have chat gpt is like a phone everybody has an iphone but 90% don't know how to use 20% of the iphone feature everybody in the international language world also in india also films are done on iphone but do we all who have an iphone are filmmaker no think about it we all have instagram all have a great instagram profile no so chat gpt is is right now it's a craze i understand but people should know how to use it 90% of people will not know another problem is that wherever you forget about the internship is for 2 3 months very difficult 
because the people wherever you are working, that person also don't know how to use ChatGPT. What is going to teach you? So, so it's quite difficult. Quite difficult because he maybe he is still typing and thinking. Because right now, the last you know, two three weeks, most of the people are only writing content on ChatGPT. But are you making money? No. If you really want to make money from this, you need to use as an API. So you should have a different problem or a technological software where it says that whatever code I will write or whatever code people will write and they will be able to rectify it by a, by by the software. It is backed by ChatGPT. Then it's you you will be able to make money out of it. Otherwise, only writing article and blogs and thing, or maybe you will not able to make money out of it. So if you really want to make the juice out of it. You should have a API. You should. That's the reason Bing example. Simple example I said is a Bing. Bing is not using its as a search. It Bing on the back end using ChatGPT as a logic to give a better and better result. That's what is going to happen. Thank you so much, so, sir. So so uh, difficult. I know you will not get such people where you will learn because most of the people just about forget about ChatGPT. You ask any of your marketing gurus around you wherever you're working. Tell ask them. Can you make a Twitter? Uh, uh, a trail. They don't know how. They only know how to tweet, but they don't know how to make a Twitter trail. That's the problem. So all these people will be now given a. It's like the COVID came and uh, slapped on our faces. People who say no, I don't want digital. Same thing is going to happen. All these AI in one shot will come, and it will you know demystify and it will burst and expose all the incompetent people in this society. Because a professor coming and giving you gyan, he will simply go to chat. He will say, "I will have a, I have a better example and a case study than what you just now spoke." So professors and the teachers will lose job if they're not. So this actually happens with us, sir. Yeah. In in our classes also, it yes, actually yes. happens with us. Yes, yes, yes. Because when I go to in, the, in a top good good school, because most of the students, uh, so I make I actually run faster than all of you. So that's the reason I'm still a student. You are only students for two years in the campus. I am a student for the last twenty-seven into marketing and still in the campus. I have never left my campus. So that's how it should be. I think I have two more questions. Uh, I think Ravi, uh, you can ask the question. Ravi, yeah. Uh, good afternoon, sir. It was a wonderful session. One thing that I really enjoyed after looking at the profile was the digital fellow logo. That was something when I looked at the logo, I was like, "Oh, this is amazing." <laughs> There's something that I would look forward to doing if I open up a company of my own, like wow, a logo which defines the individual. That's that's yes. wonderful. So to, adding to the point that you said about Chat GPT in the entire session, and at the end, what you said, I have just one question: like the jobs that are coming up. Firstly, there were jobs like digital marketing expert. When digital marketing was coming into the picture, then came jobs like digital marketing expert. Now, when Things like AI-driven tools and ChatGPT, in particular, as of now, because it is in vogue, and then we look at things like Quora is launching their own AI software, Facebook is launching their own AI software. So, in future, will there be jobs of the kind that I'm an AI expert or I'm a ChatGPT expert or things like this? You will. Uh, I don't think so because uh, recently there will be uh, uh, software which will. Uh, there will be this new designation in the world. People are saying that you need to be a prompt expert. You should know to run a, ch a chat GPT related any AI software, right? So you need to understand. So I'll as I said, imagine uh, with the chat GPT or maybe like an iPhone. Uh, all of us in the world have iPhone, but not too much people understand photography. So you need to understand photography so that when you use an iPhone, you can take a better picture. Same things happens with a chat GPT. Chat GPT is free for everybody, but if you are an expert into marketing or branding. You will ask a very specific question and get a very valid uh, article on branding. But if you don't know anything of branding, just a great designation or some stupid designation like I'm an expert, I'm an intruder, whatever. With that, you will start uh, type a, a stupid question. Outcome will, will be stupid. So input is equal to output. Think about it. Very simple. Input is equal to output. So so like having an iPhone will not change your world to become a better for photographer. Or having a chat GPT will never make you a smarter person or an expert. How you use it is where the trick lies. So ninety percent of people are lazy; they don't want to learn. They don't want to. They only want cut paste. So those people will always be there. So 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 that is what I see. So do I don't see a threat. I see most of the people will be you know. But yes, uh, now you cannot uh, lie. You cannot give stupid things. You cannot. You will get caught. You will get exposed. 
that is what is going to happen so so yeah arora if you in case there's a issue with the video you can text me also on the chat or or uh, sir i have logged now in on phone so i hope Perfect. that now i can hear you yeah 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 now i can hear you tell me um so uh, sir i have a i have a big statement to make uh, before i ask my question i just uh, so i was talking about how you know there is this debate that is ongoing always that you know where if ai will replace humans and uh, you know people usually say that uh, you know machines cannot think like humans uh, and uh, but i feel that saying that is not enough because you know it is more important to understand how humans think rather than thinking about the fact that they think because usually humans perform the act of thinking through uh, you know associations we make from our past experiences and now when we talk, talk about chat gpt how it is different from machines is the fact that uh, you know it can uh, process greater number of experiences when we talk about in comparison to a single human being and uh, where i think uh, it may lag is you know in forming fantasies basically that are not yet part of what it has what is being experienced and uh, having said that now the question comes if all these changes are good so what i feel is that you know people communities countries or companies they will unfortunately use this technology to exploit you know the human nature and i feel they might deliberately target people so the question here comes is that if, you know how uh, it will create a sense of responsibility in human beings uh, you know at a level smaller level for us but at a higher level for those who are involved in the development of this technology so how do you draw the line and you know how do you make sure that these companies countries you know or communities they take up that sense of responsibility and don't exploit you have a match stick at home sorry sir you have a match stick at your home yes do you burn yourself but you can no right you make food right so when it comes to anything any invention or whatever there always a, is a two two uh, side of it you can use it on your on it to upgrade and you can use it to destroy so some people use will definitely going to use it so when facebook facebook was there or when whatsapp was there so we see lots of fake fake things came up fake followers fake profile all those things will happen so don't worry about uh, you know uh, about what uh, the negative part is like uh, use it to leverage yourself so if you want to really think about a community build a community will the help of will the help of ai to change and help other people other than thinking that some people will come and create target don't worry about that so if you are really good at constantly upgrading and help leveraging it is go, go, where you your uh, i think all our focus should be not the other because other thing is going to be there good and bad is going to be there in all movie there's a villain and a hero but you actually go right. to go, go to movie to watch the hero not the villain yes <laughs> thank you thank you so much thank you yeah nikhil nikhil uh yes sir yes, so in sir. recent news i heard a news that chat gpt passed a test uh, which is equivalent to more than a million dollars so sir how will we survive how will people survive yeah see chat gpt recently gave an exam of uh, in a law college uh, which is i think if i'm not wrong it's a uh, uh it's a it's a it's a cambridge or some college where it passed the law and it also passed many it will pass see so uh, okay let me give you another example from one of my friend who used recently i heard mm. imagine you can pick up a dumbbell in 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 a in a gym right a 2 kg okay. dumbbell or 3 kg will you get angry if a forklift pick a uh, 2000 kg no mm. so yeah. so we don't we should not get we should not get worried about we will we, you cannot how hard you try you cannot lift the weight a forklift will pick up a, a, a you know 100 kg 1000 kg right so yes. so those things is going to happen so don't worry so what will happen is that people what will happen is that if you don't know how to leverage it he will burn your hand if you don't know how to leverage it to the maximum level so that even a, a chat gpt or any ai software or any any automation software emotions is something will will they will never go off uh, by a machine though though a lot of emotions they will they will keep learning because any ai is recent all recent right i'll give you an example uh, like i realized that my content team was not giving the result which i was expecting 
So two almost one and a half years back, my entire content team was moved. They I didn't I didn't need them, so they they went away. And it's not that I sacked them. Gradually they went away, and I never hired. So right now for the last one and a half years, I don't have a human being writing my content. Zero Z E R O. So it is for the last. So it is not that Chat GPT came today, two uh, two, two weeks back. I am talking for the last one and a half years. Uh, copy Matty. Uh, copy, uh, you know, uh, AI, open AI is what I was using for the last, uh, you know, one and a half years. So should I blame, uh, you know, uh, the machines? What I get out of that software is that I can make multiple amount of content, number one. I can get option in one subject too many times I can pick and choose. Next is that this software don't take sun, Saturday leave or Sunday leave or holiday leave. I don't have to give maturity, you know, gratuity and provident fund to these things. I can always stop when I don't need them. But you cannot hire someone and say for next three months I don't need you. You come back to me after six months. It doesn't happen. So I am not. I am. I am trying to leverage it. This software, but I'm not saying. But also, uh, uh, but like human uh, thing, you will also require when you look for a technical or very specific type of thing. So I'll tell you a very simple thing, which I also learned. I'm sharing. Chat or any AI can write a essay for you, can yes. write a story for you, but it cannot write a speech for you. Yes. Think about it. It cannot write. It cannot tell a relationship between you and your dads when you were growing up. It cannot say. It will yes. never learn because that data is only with you. Chat GPT or any GPT will never able to access it. So imagine you you are in love. Chat GPT can always write a love letter for you, but it cannot write specifically twenty places you went for a date, or thirty ice creams, or whatever you shared with your girlfriend, or twenty incident happened in your life which are very important. So that will always remain. Okay, so, so don't worry. So don't worry about machines. So so are you worried that uh, you know? Uh, are, are you worried that a bullet train or uh, a flight takes less time to fly from one place to another place? No, you enjoy it. You use flight. Uh, uh, visa vis bus so that you can go to the destination faster. So use it in a different mind. This which I just told, you know, uh, Aurora is that don't have to worry about what ChatGPT will. You will not. So don't compare yourself with a machine. All of you must be in mind comparing yourself with a machine. You will always fail. How hard you try, you cannot do that. But think how how I can leverage it and make my job better and work better. That is where the trick is. Yeah, Divya. Next question. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Divya. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Uh, my name is uh, Divya, sir. Uh, the kind of uh, point you mentioned that uh, there are a lot of things that technology will not have access to, like uh, the kind of places that I have gone with my girlfriend, or uh, and the rest. So don't you think with time, the kind of data tracking our applications are doing, like Google knows where I'm going, Google knows with whom I am going, how much time that I've spent in that place? Don't you think with time technology can adapt? Uh, uh, itself in tracking those things and certainly create uh, paragraphs of short messages writing those things yes and no yes if you are accessing all the apps to get the data it gets the data i don't know whether you know this uh, since i'm sure you will not know because you are not into, into practicing marketing in a digital in a way which we do uh, after the uh, launch of uh, iphone 14 Privacy came as a highest priority. So you cannot target anyone on iPhone to give you data because iPhone doesn't give you any data. So Facebook and iPhone were loggerhead fighting among each other because Facebook cannot target any people who, are, who use iPhone. All the things which you tell me, iPhone will not give to Facebook. So Facebook cannot target or Instagram cannot target. So it is upon us whether we are giving this data to, you know, uh, like I'll give you another simple thing. Uh, people are saying that you should not keep Echo or Amazon, uh, you know, or any voice enabled software on your bedroom. It is listening because we all know if you're talking about a washing machine two, three times with a friend, when we go home or we, when we go to a, to a place, we see our iPhone or our Instagram or Facebook targets, uh, Amazon targets those things. This is listening. But if you, if you, I don't know whether you've seen this, Mark Zuckerberg use a small red tape on the front of, a, of his uh, uh, iPhone. A Mac uh, mirror, you know, uh, camera. It is up to you who will. So, so there's always bad, bad and good. So, river walls are used to safeguard you, but river walls are not meant to do suicide. But it can also think about it. So, so I don't think it's it's a problem. It's going if you want if you share 
it will learn if you don't share and if you keep something private you will it will be able to uh, benefit your privacy and maintain your privacy i don't think that's a problem because i'll tell you every every private places where you are going and if you are lying iphone to take a picture and give a tag of the places you are you are actually giving so one one side you are giving another side you are complaining that cannot happen <laughs> think yes, about sir. it yes right? sir. so right so that's it so so if you go to my linkedin i don't use my private information if you go to my facebook only a specific people use some data and picture which i share but there are many pictures and many moments i don't share on any social media platform i i spend quality time with my loved ones that i don't share i don't show off so how much you want to show off and what is the repercussion of that show off you cannot blame technology for it because you yourself gave it first yes sir so just to add on to that question i totally agree with you that alexa part even i was listening that even uh, amazon knows which bedroom it is coming from who is the owner of that alexa device Yeah. but sir uh, you are in this marketing space for a long time uh, so what is your idea about uh, are indians really aware or are indian does it really matter to most of the indians for their privacy because no, no. i have seen i have seen multiple of my relatives they just uh, install multiple applications they give all the access and they don't even bother so but what is the state right now uh people who are born who are right now in their 20s are more aware of it people who are your uh, friends and people who are uh, who are you know i'll tell still very simple example if a if a otp or a fake sms comes to you that you won 50 million dollar or 20000 on your bank you just uh, you know don't you you know but your mom or your uncle or your parent will click that link and lose data so people who are old who are not they are all learning because jam jamatra that movie which came i'm sure all of you know from bihar from jharkhand that movie that there's a truth based on our truth uh, stories so hundreds and millions of dollars were lost by the senior people who don't know how to use a whatsapp they don't know what is the meaning of otp they don't know you can give otp you should should not be shared in anyway, even if the bank is saying thousand time you should not say so so people who are older are taking time to leverage it because they have not been exposed to that just give get another small example if you have niece or if you have any cousins who are maybe a 2 year old or a 3 year old give them a phone they will actually go to a play store or they will go to a youtube they will play a pokemon or they will play they will play using a voice and a bull thing so have you given them a training for how to use a youtube have you give them training where to find a game on your phone they will figure out so that is what is happening people who are older are are will also have a problem but the new generation will will be much more smarter so you can't help it someone missed the bus <laughs> or it was not invented invented at that time yes thank you sir thank you thank you yeah next uh, i think An- anvesha raised the hand first so anvesha can you go ahead please yeah thank you um good afternoon sir this is anvesha okay. Okay. uh thank you so much for being here this is definitely a burning hot topic that we're talking about right now so just shifting from the um you know the uh, umbrella of uh, chat gpt under which it all comes which is basically the ai and with the invention of uh, a number of such you know um uh, in uh, artificial intelligence uh, thing so i think we are somewhere around the uh, era of uh, being in a mixed reality virtual reality augmented reality a number of things so like uh, Uh, i want to know uh, how like because even when uh, abhiraj was uh, talking to you about you know having um, a, a webinar in such way i think we'll all agree that somewhere it has hindered the kind of communication that we used to have you know especially pre pandemic and yes, yes. Uh, uh, somehow we all still crave that kind of you know physical connect regardless of uh, however advanced the technology has gotten so even with all of these you know um, uh, holographic uh, uh, portals and everything that's coming along uh, what do you think would be the future and would we still get like you know would we still be in that human element of uh, being nostalgic about certain things like this because you know with the with disrupting technologies coming in and uh, with uh, them having a irreversible effect sometimes we get the habit of you know going uh, and adapting with that technology so i just wanted to know on an ethical point of view what are your views and insights and how it would change the market of anything and the human element per se so yeah 
So I think uh, what I realize is that uh, what you're asking, you understand, is uh, so these are going to be a behavioral shift already happened. People who are in the 20s, people who are in 40s, people right now, your mom, dad, who are maybe 55, 60 plus, is a behavioral thing has been changing. Previously, they used to sit in front of a TV and they used to do their cooking while watching a TV because they cannot move from the TV. Now the OTT have allowed them that they can go to a kitchen for 10, 15 minutes, cook and come back and again start. So that's the reason there's a behavioral shift happening. Also, there are lots of content coming from different type of genres of people. You something which you want, don't want to wasai poor or gangs of wasai poor or whatever, you don't want to watch it on in front with your family, you can go to your room and open a different device. So device, uh, lots of device and lots of screen have happened and is going to happen, number one. That's the reason because content, uh, you know, is what more of a personification is happening. So what you like and what your mom like or your sister like will always change. And that will, that's the reason marketing will change. Advertising will change. What the, the brands will change you will never change your mom and sister or dad. So all the brands will change. So, so there going to be a absolute buckets. The buckets will increase based on your behavior. And I see, yes, uh, there will be a shift, but a human wants to talk to human at the end of the day. That I don't think is going to be a, you know, you can always, uh, you know, you can always do, uh, do a video call. But talking to a friend one-on-one -on -one, uh, without any agenda for hours and hours uh, cannot happen on a Zoom call. Think about it. When it was pandemic, you, you, you had no other way but to do it. But if you really want to have a gossip with your friend, you will never do it on a phone. You will never do it on a Zoom call. You will actually want to go binge some, you know, binge some movies or whatever and do some gossip, whatever. So I think that physical thing will always be there. I don't think it will go away. Because that's a, that's we, because we are human. We are not robots. We are we are being grown up uh, like that. So I don't think that will go. Yes, a lot of interaction may, uh, the quality of human thing may reduce, but it's never going to be vanished. This is what I see. It will never vanish. I don't know, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah. Anyone else? Uh, yes, sir. Bani? Yeah. Yes, sir. Firstly, I want to thank you, sir, for such an insightful and engaging session. Uh, even yeah. I want to take a moment to congratulate Team Macron for organizing <laughs> such a wonderful session and selecting such a thought-provoking topic. So, sir, my question is, without a tech background, uh, how can we become a V-shaped knowledge employee, as you said, about blending tech and marketing together? Okay, which exactly is where I stand. I'm not an engineer. I'm not an engineer. I, I don't know anything of uh, much deeper technology. But I learned you should know basic if you, I don't know if you I remember, I still remember in my 20, 30 years back. Yeah, maybe 30 years back when I was, before you were born, I guess. Uh, <laughs> so we read, uh, there's a there's a graph in, of, in a Philip Kotler book, in, I guess on the operation chapter, where there are greed where even if you, if you go up in the ladder, even if you are not a technology person, or if you're not an engineer, but you should know certain part and fundamentals of technology. Now, okay, let me tell you one thing uh, you should know. Uh, you Can you drive, Ani? Can you drive? Sir, yes, I, I can. Yeah. Yes, sir. What car you drive? Sir, Brezza. Okay. Did you learn, to, did you went to some engineering automobile company to learn about how the mechanics of uh, car and then you bought the car? No, sir. Okay. So what you learned, you use a machine, but I actually use... You should know if the car breaks down in the middle of the road, which are the five things should I check? If the car is coming out, some gas is coming out, I should call. Or if there's something color on the dashboard, I should take a, uh, uh, you know, I should Google and figure out what is wrong with. So I should identify the mistake. That's enough for driving the car. Same thing happens if you're not a technological person. You should know basic understanding of technology and you should know who is the person can solve this problem. So you don't need to, you don't need to be a chef. You need to know which chef to hire for sushi and which chef to hire uh, Indian thali. That's all you should know, even if you're not a technology person. Having said, if you have a deep understanding of technology, and even if you know 25, 30% of the, if you read, if you if you consume, you will definitely be able to have a good conversation with the IT guy. You may not, or a, or a technology guy, you may, you may not know the uh, detailed, uh, you know, uh, deep down the, the architecture of our technology, but you, could, you should know, you will be able to understand like the way I understand, the very simple language. And now AI is going to make your life easy. 
imagine you are having a conversation with someone who is a aeronautical engineer and is giving some gyan which you can understand you can go to chat gpt and say uh, uh, work uh, act as a uh, expert in aeronautical engineer as if you are giving this as advice to a 5 year old kid and tell me how how aeronautical engineering works in my language it will able to tell you yes sir thank you so much sir yeah <laughs> Uh, sir, do uh, so you can see that everybody is ready to pick your brains. Uh, but due to paucity of time, uh, guys, we can take one more question. Uh, whoever wants to go first can go. Okay, we have only two people who raise hand. I see one is uh, Garg, another is Jay Garg Sabu. and Akansha. Okay, only these two, and we'll finish it. Then. And okay, rest, sir. please come to my LinkedIn. Put your question. I will able to answer it also. Yes. Uh, sir, can I go first? Yeah, yeah, please. please. Uh, so, yeah, uh, good afternoon, sir. Sir, a uh, few st students earlier uh, were talking about cultural shift and uh, the use of technology. Yesterday, we saw Google with their launch of Bard and uh, their AI. So, how soon can we expect Google to actually shift their uh, this orthodox uh, search engine to an AI based uh, search engine? And uh, will consumers be shifting to that? Uh, as per uh, as of my understanding about uh, shifting of behavioral shifting, when it comes to any technology, forget about Google, forget about ChatGPT, forget about anything. Whenever these new technologies come, if I tell you there are lots of chat, uh, you know, uh, WhatsApp chat, WeChat, right? There are a lot, lot of normal SMS. So people moved away from SMS to WhatsApp. When the WhatsApp came, after WhatsApp came, there are many other chat, WeChat and other chat, many things came. But once you, movers, first movers advantage is what we learned in marketing. I see same thing happening. Even if Google do whatever, now people will, if people are in love with chat GPT, 100 million people in just five days, uh, people have got, they are so much in love. The, the, if they keep on improving, if the chat GPT, I keep on improving their, uh, their, uh, their artificial intelligence. I don't think uh, Google will have a quite, they will lose definitely uh, loads of uh, followers because what people are thinking, I'll tell you, people are actually uh, what uh, for me, I, I'm a hardcore lover of Google, I guess, or all of you are, because uh, we were now angry thinking why you have to launch the Google uh, chat GPT now after getting a threat. We were sleeping for the last 10 years. So you actually cheated us. And since someone have came, you are actually doing a counter. This is a trust uh, issue, which I see uh, will, will happen. That's the reason, even if we, we moved uh, to a different, we will, we will go and try, but most of the people don't have a Bing uh, in, in their search. They all use Google. So that uh, monopoly has been killed. So that love is gone because it is all that you, now you are giving us, you are making, you can say, I, my chat, chat GPT is better than this chat GPT, but I don't believe you then because you didn't invent it or you didn't give us uh, it the way these guys did. So I don't think it's going to be an advantage for Google. So people are going to love with uh, chat GPT, with, with Microsoft. And that's the reason Microsoft is back. It will not going to go so soon. At least 45% to 50% swing will happen. And swing will happen because of angriness, because people are, is a mistrust is that what we all loved Google. Google have phone, Google have X, Google have Y, Google have glasses, Google have lenses, all these things you sold, but you never gave this. So you're only countering it. So that's actually not, it's a behavioral issue. I don't think people are going to forgive Google for this. This is what my interpretation, I may be wrong, but this is what I see. Because I will okay. not use it. So just to follow up this, uh, sir, search engines are a part of our life. Like we go on Google every 10, 15 minutes to uh, clear our queries. So if uh, users will shift from Google to uh, like chat GPT or any other AI platform, uh, does that mean that uh, we can see Google going obsolete in the next 15 years? After the invention of a, a smartphone, uh, analog phones still exist. It is you and me who lives in cities use smartphones. There are hundreds of people who still can have, but they still use, uh, you, know, an, an, you know, analog phone. So I don't think they're going to be obsolete, but what will happen? The advertising money will get splitted. 
more people will spend money into Microsoft, which means less revenue will go to Google, which means job loss will happen in Google more than Microsoft. Microsoft will hire people, Google will fire people. Advertising money will go from Google to Bing. Also, what will happen? There's a split. Now there are two big consoles. It is no more that you will dominate. So the problem of search engine is this, is that, uh, so if you see the search engine, I, I see a correlation between that and content. The content was previously was two hour movie. Now it's a 30 minutes, 20 minutes or 25 minutes web series, which means movies are cut into 20, 25. You can watch it after a long time. You can watch it. Some Most people don't do binge, but you can watch it after two days, three days and over a period of time, which means the concentration and the, and the commitment time has gone down. Similarly, when you do a search, search give you 2 million pages, 30,000 pages. You know who has the time to read all this. Thing. So what will happen? The, the, the architecture of the search has changed. So I don't need 20,000 gyan. Only tell me this book, what are the 20 lessons I will learn from this book. Don't show me results. Show me my answer. So that shift has happened. And that shift has done by Microsoft has done it. It is not Google. So that's the reason people are, are and after using ChatGPT, uh, it will be very difficult to again go back to Google. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Uh, Akanksha, I guess the last one. Yes, Akanksha, tell me. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, so thank you for a very in insightful session. And I loved how you uh, answered on how we are moving from result to answer, uh, from getting result to answer. So uh, presently, I feel like uh, chat GPT is just the starting of what AI can do and will become in the future. So going into our jobs or our career in 2024 as we'll be passing out in 2024 how should we be equipped and uh, prepared for what's coming next you have to be forget about 2023 2024 if you really want to survive in 2025 the same advice applies to you don't think uh, that you know everything you need to be don't leave the campus just i think i, do, I don't know whether you missed the my first two minute session Please behave like a student for the rest of your life. Otherwise, you will you will lose job, you will lose opportunity, you will lose everything. So you need to learn all the time. You need to see all the time. And when I say learning, not by uh, a passive learning, active learning, which means you need to go and follow certain thing. You need to read. You need to see. Not reading just in shots. That's that's uh, that's that's not learning. We're learning through in short. Don't do that. The dedicated time. Make a list of things. Or you ask a chat GPT. As a new MBA fresher, what are the hundred things I should learn to survive on branding, survive on marketing, survive on technology? I'm a non-technical MBA. What are the technological things I should learn? Make a list of things with the help of, use ChatGV to tell you this. Make a list, take a printout, put it in front of a place where you sleep and eat or whatever and, and, and do a check mark. And every two months, upgrade that uh, thing because ChatGV is going to change that num you know, date and number frequently. Be a student all over the life. Otherwise, very difficult. You will not survive. No one will survive. Not even I. I've been a student all my life. Most of, the, of my friends are obsolete. Most of the friends have lost their job. Most of the friends are struggling. Most of them are almost dead in terms of the career concerns. So, so worst time for people who don't want to upgrade. Good time of people who want to upgrade. That's the only lie I can say. Kushal, I think all good, all thing. I answered everybody. I and rest. I open all of you to come to my LinkedIn and put questions. I will answer it. Individual level answer. I may take two, three days time, but put a question. I will answer. Sure, sir. Sure. Sure, sir. Uh, so thank you so much, sir, for addressing us today. I think uh, more than the presentation, a lot of time was given to Q and A's. And Aviraj has been poking me for so long. He's just sitting beside me. He has. One question that he wants to really ask you. So I just move on to Aviraj and give the stage to him and he'll take it forward. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, Aviraj, bolo. Sir, first of, first of all, I, I would really like to congratulate you. What a wonderful session. What a wonderful Thank session. Thank you. <laughs> the, you know, the way you were talking about that. I scare easy. So that's my fault. But like when you were talking about, uh, you know, traditional advertising going up slowly and they're not keeping up with the times. So that scared me a little bit. Because uh, much like you, I've also been connected with the cinema industry for a while. 
and uh, we make small scale movies and short films and all of those things so i i just wanted to ask you and if if please kushal if stop me i can connect with sir on linkedin also i i'll give absolutely. you the question and then we'll see if we can get the answer right now absolutely so sir, like already with chat gpt many of my uh, cinema friends have already started you know playing with it in their scripts in the way they're looking at uh, stories and everything but more than that where ai is going and much more powerful in this is going to come how is that going to affect small scale cinema industry that is something that i wanted to get to know from you sir small scale have actually more opportunity than the big scale definitely sir this is uh, something which i learned from a very famous youtube where uh, the google marketing head spoke how physics taught me about marketing in one of the law where he used in tedx talk you can search uh, what physics taught me on on marketing or branding on google on a ted if you search you will figure out this you will find this uh, video in that video he mentioned something a bigger stone take lot of time to move a large company need have 500 people to take any decision so how big they are they will not able to survive but the smaller company like have two founder member or maybe one guy founding they will able to act on it faster so the smaller people have a better opportunity to get exposed to movies content or whatever you call it because you will able to experiment another thing is that bigger people always worry about what if i fail mm-hmm. the smaller guy don't have it they said what if you know one if my youtube one youtube doesn't go doesn't matter i'll put another youtube so if you mm-hmm. make smaller content smaller movies so see the movie creation has has given so much of opportunity forget about the ai or uh, editing if you if you use a simple phone uh previously you need lot of tam jam and lot of stuff to make a movie now you can use a 15 minutes for all the if you see the reels which are 15 59 seconds with the 59 seconds we some most of us most of us struggle to make a movie but we all forget when we see a cadbury pepsi coke britannia ads they also tell stories but in 10 seconds mm-hmm. always all ads are running 10 seconds and 15 seconds so in 10 second you can still tell a story you can still make a creative content but in a reels with 59 seconds you still cannot tell a story which means it is nothing to wrong with the platform it is wrong with the people so how smart you are it will make you much more smarter it is not going to challenge you it is we we are afraid that's going to it is not challenging us do, do we so previously we used to write the name and number of people on a small pad and we used to put it in the you know in our pocket like these are the name we used to remember it is very difficult now we don't remember any name and number of people we it's already on my phone right so yes. it is so so don't blame the platform or don't be afraid of the platform use it to the maximum level so how creative you are you have right and the beauty is that whenever you think something or discuss something it takes lot of time the time has become short you can give five prompts which i just told, told, told all of you how to create a prompt from like i used a prompt like uh, if pathan if, if you know 20 things to learn from pathan what are the 20 marketing things i should learn from pathan and says uh, sorry i cannot uh, certainly i will able to help you after some time as of now i have not seen the movie pathan i will not able to tell you so that honesty comes from ai software also but if you ask a top professor or whatever because of his ego he'll say no no i'll get back to you they'll so some shit and they will try to ignore you dodge that question i will not answer you so the software will also tell you i don't know give me some time give me some more hint so that you know, rude honesty will also come from machine so machine will never lie so i think as a small production people or as creative people you have more advantage to create all this stuff definitely sir i agree i mean already i am seeing my friends figuring it out playing so i don't think it's going to be that big of a challenge to move forward no challenge no challenge no challenge i don't yes. think so so when when computer was invented uh, it came to in india a lot of strike happened in railway and government places you should not bring computer is going to you know so now the entire computer runs the country so so there was a time when phone was banned on a school if if any phone was found on a kids bag so mother uh, or daughter you know father were called the parent uh, uh, will come and say why have you got now that small 4 inch phone is running the school we saw that in covid so it is nothing to do with the problem how you use it yes, how sir. you use it thank you so much sir on that thank note you. i would like to uh, pass it on to orko so that he can give you a formal vote of thanks from all of our sides yeah sure so with all the questions answered i think we have come to an end to our q and a session thank you sir for being so patient with us throughout as a token of thanks we have planned a tree sapling in your name for the oh, project wow. tree of 
for tigers in the sundarbans as a small memorable gesture and also Wonderful. a small step toward the sustainability of our planet send the, me a picture of the plant yeah no sir uh, we will send the certificates for the same so via email and with this i guess this conclave would not been a success without the support of an enthusiastic lot like you all thank you everyone for taking out time on sunday afternoon and gracing this occasion thank you sir so also you can uh, track the tree uh, yeah. there will be a link attached to it you can see the sure. exact location of where the tree is being planted Wonderful. and uh, you will get a certificate next time i go to sundarban i'll visit my tree yes sir, definitely <laughs> cool thank you guys and uh, thank you so much for gracing us today on our occasion thank you so much sir thank you so much for the session sir thank you so much Thank you so. Thank you so. Thank you. Thank you.